good win. Guys, uh, I thought we played really, you know, defensively we were good from uh, the tip. Uh, you know, we, after the game on Friday, we gave them off Saturday. Sunday, we did a two-hour practice of straight defense. Monday, we did a two-hour practice straight defense. We did shoot around the day straight defense. And I thought it had us carry over. We defended really well. I thought Jeremiah Martin did a nice job starting there to give us some good energy. Uh, but when you, when you hold the team that we held to with the percentages, uh, we did a nice job. The only thing I would say is they had 12 offensive rebounds. We've got to be better about that. Got to be a lot better. Can't be giving up those offensive rebounds. That's, and that's not all the bigs. That's the perimeter guys not cracking back uh, on rotations and, and being in there and cracking back and, and, and getting a hit on the bigs. But, uh, but overall, really good game. Uh, shot the ball well from the free throw line. Got to be better from twos. Still didn't shoot the ball well from twos uh, at all. Missed a lot of some short shots. Um, 16 assists on 28 made field goals. I like the fact that we had four, only four turnovers. We ended up with 13, but some of those were, were you know, with non-rotation guys, but uh, late in there. So, but overall, good, good win, and um, <clears throat> um, you know, we did some good things defensively. So I liked, I liked uh, what we did defensively. And we, and and we had a plus 10 on the glass, which I, which is a great thing, is, you know, 14 offensive rebounds. Absolutely, 100%. Jeremiah, Jeremiah was was just, you know, he he was really good defensively. He had great energy, and it and it and it triggered everybody else. But from your two practices that you mentioned, all about defense. Was it was that your mindset with Jeremiah all the way? Were you considering Burrell or anybody else? Or was it all was about straight Jeremiah? Jeremiah. <laughs> nice to get some of your young guys. And Nick Marshall get some time and get some run. Yeah. Uh, Craig Randall as you, well. You know, Jason, I thought Nick, you know, had eight points, nine boards in only 13 minutes. So, I mean, he, he did some good things. Um, <clears throat> I thought Craig Randall, he hit a three, uh, was able to get him in. I liked the fact that Avery was able to kind of get going on making some threes, so that was good. Uh, but it was good to get some of those those younger guys in uh, to give them some time and to give them some run to allow them to, uh, to get some experience. Because especially, you know, once we get back, from Christmas break, you know, we head into conference play and, you know, our schedule is, it is what it is. You're playing two games a week. So, you know, everyone's got to be ready to, to get the job done. And our schedule, what we'll do is we'll, we'll give them off tomorrow, give them off Friday, uh, Thursday. We will practice Christmas night at 8 p.m. Uh, we'll go twice on the, you know, we'll go, we'll practice 26th, 27th. And, um, and then on the 28th, uh, you know, obviously it'll be a really, short, quick practice because we play that noon the 29th. So if we didn't play at noon on the 29th, if we play in the evening, I wouldn't bring them back on Christmas night. But just because it's, it's a noon game, um, you're not going to really do anything on the day before. You're, you're very limited because it's such an early start. So, um, <clears throat> so we got to get our work in those, those couple days prior. Josh, with conference play starting, is this team where you envision them being at this stage of the season? Is Look, you know, um, before last game, uh, you know, we were free throws away from being undefeated going into the Ole Miss game. If we made some free throws versus Oklahoma, made a couple free throws versus Arlington, or played a little better versus Arlington, we would have won the game. And that's not an excuse. That's just, you know, that's just kind of what it is. And um, But that's our own doing. That's our fault. And then, you know, versus Ole Miss, we had a bad first half. So, obviously, I'd prefer to be 11-0. Um, you know, I, I, I think we're getting better. I think we've had a – we've had – Two bad halves of basketball, really bad halves. That was the first half for Arlington and the first half for Old Miss. We were bad, uh, and it bit us in the butt in both both games. Oklahoma, you know, we lost. We just we missed. We should have won the game. We missed free throws. And uh, but those other two games, our our halves were were garbage, and so we put ourselves in a deficit in those two situations. So we're gonna have to make it up on the back end, and um, you know we're. You know, we still got to get better, but I, we, we're improving. We got still some youth, and, and we got to clean up some things and get better. And this, these couple of days after, you know, once we get back, we'll be able to clean some things up and try to get better in some areas heading into conference play. We may not see you over the holidays. What can you tell us about Tulane? You know, I, I don't know a lot about Tulane because I haven't watched them, but I do know on, on Tulane, you know, Coach Conroy, you know, they've, they're, they're, he does a great job. Uh, they they usually run four out, one in. 
Uh, they're, they're a spacing type of team. I, I assume they can shoot the ball. I know they always play hard. They're really good defensively. They shrink the floor. Um, you know, they're a tough, hard-nosed team. And when it's conference play, uh, you're going to have to be ready to play, and, and, and we're going to get everyone's best shot. And so um, I think Tulane will be a great test, and we're going to have to be ready to go.